In the animal kingdom, the general rule is the larger you are, the longer you live. An elephant lives longer than a mouse. A cat lives longer than a goldfish. Even among small animals, birds, for instance, the observation rings true. Large birds tend to have longer lifespans than smaller ones. A cockatoo can live up to 80 years, while sparrows generally live for about three. But dogs are different. Dogs appear to break a rule seen across the animal kingdom that a larger body results in a longer lifespan. Because smaller dogs tend to live longer than larger dogs, in this video, we're going to explore the reasons why this is the case. The strongest determinant of lifespan in dogs. The strongest determinant of lifespan in dogs is body size, with small dogs outliving their large counterparts. For example, the average lifespan of a Chihuahua, Yorkies, Maltese, or Shih Tzus typically live between 14 to 16 years, while the average lifespan of a Great Dane, Irish Wolfhounds, St. Bernards, usually only live between 7 to 10 years. Medium-sized dogs, including Golden Retrievers, French Bulldogs, and Cocker Spaniels, live closer to 10 to 12 years. Another factor that has the potential to affect canine lifespan is genetic diversity or the level of inbreeding. Major causes of death in dogs. Two major causes of death in dogs, one usually deemed desirable, dying of old age, the other one often dreaded, cancer. Cancer is the leading cause of death in dogs. There is also heart disease, organ failure, such as kidney failure or liver failure. According to a study published in the journal American Naturalist, larger dogs are more likely to die earlier because our selective breeding to make them larger has made them more susceptible to cancer. Additionally, larger breeds actually grow faster, meaning they're aging at an accelerated pace. University of Adelaide experts examined the causes of differences in lifespan and death in 164 dog breeds, ranging in size from Chihuahuas to Great Danes. They discovered that larger dogs were more likely to die from cancer at a younger age when compared with smaller dogs. This is because larger dogs haven't had enough time to evolve better cancer defense mechanisms to match their size may be caused by an evolutionary lag in the body's cancer defenses, which are unable to keep up with the rapid and recent selective breeding of bigger dogs. Most of the 400 or so dog breeds we know today have only been established in the past 200 years. It's possible that larger dogs will eventually evolve better cancer defenses, but this may come at a cost to their ability to reproduce. Metabolic rate. Larger dogs generally have a lower metabolic rate than smaller dogs because surface area to volume ratio. Larger dogs have a lower surface area to volume ratio than smaller dogs. This means that they have less surface area through which to lose heat, which can lead to a lower metabolic rate. They burn fewer calories per kilogram of body weight than smaller dogs. They are more prone to becoming overweight or obese, even if they are eating the same amount of food as a smaller dog. Muscle mass. Larger dogs typically have more muscle mass than smaller dogs. However, muscle mass is a metabolically active tissue, so having less muscle mass can lead to a lower metabolic rate. Activity level. Larger dogs are often less active than smaller dogs. This is due to a number of factors, including their larger size, which makes it more difficult to move around, and their increased risk for certain health problems, such as arthritis. Aging rate. Large dogs die young mainly because they age quickly. A larger dog, because of its size, may put more strain on its physiological processes, meaning they tend to wear out more quickly. Modern cars generally work well for eight or nine years, and then wear and tear sets in, and they start falling apart. The speed with which they deteriorate varies between manufacturers. It's the same with dogs. An evolutionary biologist named Cornelia Krauss studied 74 breeds and more than 56,000 dogs seen in North American veterinary teaching hospitals. Krauss found that larger dogs age faster and die from cancer more often than smaller dogs. One reason for this may be that larger dogs grow faster, which may make them more likely to develop cancer. 
Another reason may be that larger dogs age more quickly and therefore succumb to age-related illnesses sooner. Near length. Telomeres are the protective caps at the ends of chromosomes. As we age, our telomeres get shorter. When telomeres become too short, the cell can no longer divide and die. One study, published in the journal Cell Reports in 2012, found that the average telomere length of 175 dogs from 26 different breeds varied from 11.4 kbp in Great Danes to 27.9 kbp in beagles. The study also found that smaller dogs have longer telomeres than larger dogs, which could help to explain their longer lifespans. How to extend your dog's life? See the vet every year, take your pup to its annual checkup, and make sure to get blood work done yearly if you have a senior dog. A lot of times we'll get age-related diseases that can be managed, and the sooner you catch them, the better managed they are, and the longer they can live. Keep your dog lean. Obesity in dogs can decrease their lifespan by over two years. Vaccinate and prevent diseases. Check in with your vet about diseases in your area to vaccinate your dog against. Recommend you keep up with heartworm prevention by giving your pup a deworming pill as instructed by your vet. Dental health. Poor dental health can cause additional problems or diseases in your dog. Check in with your vet about recommended cleanings for your dog. Dogs are our best friends, and we all want them to live as long and healthy lives as possible. While there is no guarantee that your dog will live a long and healthy life, there are things you can do to increase their chances. By providing your dog with a healthy diet, regular exercise, and routine veterinary care, you can help them to live their best life for as long as possible. If you have any other questions about dogs, or if you'd like to see me make more videos about dogs, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos about dogs. Thank you for watching.